Hello my sugar plums, welcome back to my channel. Guys, in today's DIY, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful set of coasters. I call them sunset at the beach. Now those coasters are gonna be part of my uh, pastel collection that I'm gonna be adding on my website and that's gonna come out to you soon. Guys, be patient, I'm still working on the website, so but once it's available, I will let you guys know everything. Now those beautiful coasters took me about six days to uh, complete them yes it does take a lot quite a while but it's worth it look how beautiful they are we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the tutorial and i'm gonna be showing you everything that you're gonna need and guys everything that i'm using right now is gonna be uh, you know in the amazon store that i created just for you to show you uh, uh what you need like if you click on the link store that's in the description box below it'll show you every single uh products that i use on this video and other video as well so that's one way for you to quickly go and surf and um, you know search to see um all the things that you're gonna be needing for the first layer guys we're gonna be using a lot of acrylic paint and mix with a little bit of makeup powder because I want my, uh, you know, my, um, the colors that's going to be at the bottom part to have a little bit of, of shimmer to it. So that's why I'm using a lot of acrylic paint mixed with mica powder. Now you don't need a lot of, you know, epoxy, um, to do, uh, you know, layers because you're going to be doing them layer by layer. But, um, so be mindful of, you know, how, you know, how much, you know, mica powder and acrylic paint that you're adding. I added like a tiny little bit. It's good. Oh, it's only opaque color so it's gonna be uh, beautiful anyway but don't add too much otherwise your epoxy will have a hard time to um you know cure so i'm doing the first layer i'm doing i, I use about six ounce of epoxy and again guys my epoxy i use is going to be primary supply this is their tabletop epoxy but you can use any type of epoxy that you want it's up to you you know i haven't you know try any other epoxy i'm thinking maybe i should give them a whirl so you see you know what they're all about i've been wanting to you know uh try you know um stone coat countertop or even you know counterculture so but uh, that's for another diy anyway so i went and add a little bit of acrylic paint mixed with a tiny little bit of mica powder to make my colors just so uh, my color can pop and have a bit of shimmer to it so i'm gonna go one by one and start adding my you know my colors starting with my lightest blue all the way to my brightest orange because we're trying to make like a sunset beach um you know um, type of uh, coaster and guys like i mentioned you really don't need a lot now those coasters that I'm using, they are so beautiful. They are very um, thick, um, deep, and also very big. Like they are large coasters. The coaster, after I'm done making them, they are super heavy. Uh, so it's a very great quality coasters. I got them again from Amazon. Most of the things that I got, I always got them from Amazon. As you can see, I layer all my colors down from uh, all the way to my brightest uh, orange. And then I'm gonna go ahead quickly mix them a little bit before I use my heat gun on low guys make sure you use low heat both for both your heat gun and torch if you're gonna be using them and if you're not sure about using your torch guys be mindful be careful when you're using your torch on your silicone mold don't go on the edge because you don't want to burn your mold as you can see when i use my torch i tend to stay you know in the center of um where i have my um you know epoxy i don't go around the edges because i don't want to burn my mold and you know ruin them so i'm just gonna go and add um my white and guys uh i add a, a lot of uh white to create a lot of wave on the first layer just because it is the first uh, you know it's, it's the first layer you need to have a lot of wave um showing because uh, when you do the top layer you're not gonna add a lot of wave but this is gonna give depth to your coasters and it's gonna make it beautiful trust me i add quite a lot of white and this is what it looked like this is the end of day one guys i'm gonna go ahead and you know cover this and let them cure overnight and then we're gonna come back to it in day number two for top layer layer now i'm gonna be showing right now this is gonna be number uh day number two and for our top layer we're gonna be using a lot of uh glitter and alcohol ink because you want the top layer to be quite sheer but because i want a lot of you know uh, sparkly into my water and into my sunset uh so i'm using a glitter but if you don't want the sparkle guys just use alcohol ink and i'm using the appropriate um you know color uh for my uh, uh alcohol ink with my uh 
um, with my glitter and again I'm using the same um, uh, colors that I use in the in day number one um, I use the same thing and if for my sand color I just use the color sand uh, glitter fine glitter by let's resin and I didn't add any alcohol ink um, you know in the sand itself but every other one from the blue all the way to the brightest uh, orange all have alcohol ink and glitter I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, add start adding my sand down to you know to create my shoreline and all I'm doing is adding my glitter on down and then I'm gonna do that for all four of them and then I'm gonna go and use my silicone stick and then I'm just gonna go ahead and trace how I'm uh, you know how you want your um your shore or your beach to be looking like and then i'm just gonna be using again my stick to just lay down the colors starting from my lightest blue all the way to my brightest orange also and again once we do that guys you're gonna pop the bubble heat it up with a heat gun and i'm gonna use my torch again and i use them on low setting guys and be mindful of your mold you don't want to ruin them by you know putting heat you know on them so i stay in the center again i cannot stress that out because you don't want to waste your money after spending so much money to buy mold and then you burn them and then you have to rebuy them so be mindful of that so as you can see i add all my colors and then i'm just gonna go with the same sand color that I, I, I added before and i'm just gonna do a little bit here and there uh, to add more gold uh, toward the water itself going to the sunset just to add a little bit more sparkle like gold sparkle to you know in it and then also guys once i'm done doing that i heat it with my um my heat gun again in my torch and then that's it we're gonna cover it um uh, before doing that i'm gonna go ahead and start doing my wave and for the top layer wave guys you don't want to add a lot of you know uh wave so i'm using a pipette to do that and all i'm doing is adding you know a little bit of clear and then i'm gonna go with my pipette doing like a very thin layer um a very thin line of you know the white and then i'm gonna use a straw to just push the wave in the direction that i want i don't want to use like a um a heat gun on it to move it too much i just want to move the wave slightly in the direction that i want and that's what i'm gonna go and do and i'm using a straw to do that and again guys when you're using a uh, straw and if you see that your white is not moving too much all you have to do is add a little bit of uh, more clear on it on top of the white and this will help you a whole lot in moving your you know your wave in the direction that you want and that's what i'm doing right now and doing using the pipette uh, like this give you a quite a lot of um you know control of how you put your uh, wave down or uh, you know the placement of your wave or thin the line is so i think that's a great idea guys if you want to use that or if you have a lot of control you can use like maybe like a, um, a paper cup and make like a very tiny you know spout you know on the mouth and then use that to make a straight line so that's what i'm doing right now as you can see i'm adding just a tiny little bit of more the of the clear epoxy and then all i'm doing is i'm gonna be using the straw again to push it and what i'm gonna be doing again i'm gonna take my uh, torch and i'm gonna torch it really really fast um to create like a you know some cell and break out the the this line uh, the the white uh paint and um the white um a paste to create like some beautiful cell into uh, in the coaster and that's what we're gonna be doing for the white really we don't want to add a lot of wave on top of it because we already have like definition of wave under it after i finish doing all four of them this is what they look like again guys i'm gonna let this cure over and again for another day <laughs> and then we'll come back to finish you know filling up the the top coaster with some clear they are very uh, deep so i'm not gonna go and uh, fill it up to the top so i left uh quite like maybe like one fourth of the coaster that's like um that need to be filled up with the clear and that's what i'm doing right now and this is day number three yes guys it took me six days to complete the set but it's worth it again i'm gonna go in this is about like four ounces of epoxy that i uh, mix up i'm gonna be adding like maybe like one ounces one ounce in each one of the uh, mold and i'm gonna finish doing that heat up with the heat gun and then we're gonna go ahead and let it sit overnight again to cure for another day
<laughs> isn't that great guys <laughs> yeah it took me quite a lot uh, a lot of time to do it i was also doing a lot of projects so that's why i didn't add any video uh last week so forgive me for that guys but you know what you know sometimes you you're super busy and unfortunately i was extremely busy this last week so i could not find the time to add a video but this video is done so and basically once you finish adding this the top uh clear guys and you uh, let it cure overnight you can call it a day but me i wanted to add another top layer of clear on top just because when i touch the side i still can feel a little bit of sharpness you know in some part of the edges uh you can just send that, that with like a very like fine nail um filer and then it's not gonna do anything but i still wanted to completely cover it with like another top uh, coat of clear and call it a day and for me to do that again uh, you want to protect the back of your coaster so i'm gonna go ahead and add some white glue or you can do latex if you have that but i only have white glue and it worked perfectly fine for me so i'm just gonna go ahead and do some white glue on the bottom and let it cure overnight again for another day so that's gonna be day number five <laughs> yes so once i'm done doing that guys and once it's, um the glue is completely cured i'm just gonna flip them over you know and then add my color coat and then you know make sure you get the side um and it's nice and smooth you know hit it with the heat gun and the torch pop any bubble that's in it and then that's it we are done i'm gonna be showing you the uh the few you know close-up uh finish for the coaster once i'm done with that guys before i show you the final resort i want to thank you so much for being here if you're new to my channel don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to the channel uh, share it with your friend and family uh, like this video that will help out a lot with this channel guys and also i really 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 appreciate if you go ahead and take the time subscribe to my channel click on the bell icon to be notified on all my new upload we tend to upload here every friday and sunday or every friday and every monday based on the way so you have to have your notification to be on so you can know when we put out a new video and if you're not subscriber you're back again to watch the video thank you so much for being here i really really appreciate you guys i really love you thank you so much for all the love and support we are trying to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year so we can do a massive giveaway so go ahead and subscribe to the channel guys so you can be part of this beautiful massive giveaway that we're gonna be doing guys this is the finished product and you can see all the beautiful beautiful depth that the coasters have all the beautiful glitters that's showing at the end you know you know and the bottom i absolutely love this coaster guys i really wish that the camera captured you know all the depth that's showing in the coaster it's you know in person it's super 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 beautiful as you can see this is a very thick coaster and even the backing guys is extremely beautiful i absolutely love this coaster again and guys this is gonna be part of our uh, pastel collection that's gonna be on our website pretty soon i'll let you know all about the website guys where i'm still working on them so make sure you stay tuned for that and guys this is it for the video i have many many diy on my channel if you are interested in watching more of the diy you can just go ahead and click on the link that's showing you right there or on the channel itself and go and watch whatever diy that you have we have many many of them guys that was it for today thank you so much for being here and thank you for be part by being part of my family i love you so, so much and you guys know the drill as always be blessed and stay blessed i love you guys i'll see you next time bye Mwah.